Robert Wu is back on his feet again with the help of a robotic exoskeleton called the Rewalk. The 46-year-old was paralyzed from the waist down when seven tons of steel fell onto his construction trailer. Doctors told him he'd never walk again. I didn't think I could be useful and uh, I wanted to die. I, and the worst thing is I couldn't even pull the plug. Then he enrolled in a study of the rewalk. The battery-powered device contains motors that help power the hips and knees. A computer coordinates those movements into a walking pattern when a patient shifts their body weight. Uh, essentially, they're uh, a wearable robot. I'm not, not generally an emotional guy, but you know, I felt quite a, a, a rush seeing the, the first time that I saw somebody get up in a device. The rewalk is the first exoskeleton that lets patients walk upstairs. Errol Samuel suffered a spinal cord injury after a roof collapsed on him. He says using a rewalk at home would be life-changing. I'm reaching for higher things, getting up steps, pretty much just being mobile around the house instead of rolling around, walking around. Doctors say being able to stand and walk upright also aids circulation, digestion, and muscle tone, common problems in people with paralysis. All the terrible things that go wrong from a sedentary lifestyle are magnified in a person with spinal cord injury. So any activity that we can provide for them stands to reason to have benefit. Robert Wu says the rewalk has given him back something he thought he'd lost forever. Be able to stand up next to my wife and give her a hug for the first time. Be able to walk with my children to the park. These are things that we take for granted and I miss. Ryan Jaslow, CBS News.